Hey, 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 welcome back to the Passive Buddies podcast. And today we are shaking up a little bit. We are going to dive into exactly why affiliate marketers fail. Because as you can hear us on this podcast all the time, me and Brandon highly promote affiliate marketing because of the absolutely amazing opportunity there is to build from a side hustle to a fully fledged business owner. Now we make it sound so sexy, but I bet you when you go into groups and you talk to people and you will see affiliate marketers fail. So why do they fail? And that is exactly what we are going to cover in this podcast. Brandon, why, why do people struggle? Oh man, I, I, I talk about this a lot actually. Um, and I usually talk about it in a sense because of high ticket affiliate marketing. Um, a lot of people get burnt out because they get this ma- like massive success in the f- maybe this month two, maybe month three, because they have the desire and the drive and the, they just invested all this money to do something. And so they're very motive, like money motivated to make the thing work. And then month seven comes around and they like the last three months, they haven't made any money. And then they're like, well, this doesn't work anymore. I'm not, I'm just wasting my time doing, not getting results when I could be like actually doing something that might work better or that, um, you know, that I could be spending time with uh, learning a second language or whatever the case might be. And so I uh, talked about this that because it's funny, I've been going through my old messages of people that I've talked to, and it's about the seven month mark that people just kind of disappear off the face of the Facebook uh, messenger. Wow. And so I don't uh, see them anymore. And they I get like a grayed out me- uh, little tick box on the messenger, meaning like they haven't viewed it. And it's been like a month. And I'm like, oh, well, they're, I guess they're not doing their online business anymore. And the reason being is because it, they're, you have to think of like people when they make their high ticket, high ticket affiliate marketing sale, their commission, they've already put in 40 or 50 hours to make that one sale. And if you take that, that, that sale and then divide it by the hours and you're working an hourly rage, which is less than McDonald's. And if you are okay with working with McDonald's and some people are, that's totally okay. Then you should work at McDonald's and get the benefits. Like you should get your 401k matching you should get health benefits and dental and, you know, all the good benefits that come with McDonald's versus high ticket affiliate marketing is that's not, it's worse than McDonald's. Um, so that's why I think people quit is because they, they, they aren't getting, they're not building upon what they've previously done. They're, they have no way to track their performance. And we talked about this in the previous podcast where five reasons to uh, to kind of be successful in affiliate marketing is, is tracking your performance and measuring and monitoring those. Because if you have no way to monitor, building recurring income kind of by default kind of allows you to monitor your success but if you made like a high, one high ticket sale like two months ago, you kind of forget about that, and it kind of puts a damper on your mood. And so it's not, and it's it's kind of not self. Um, what is it called? Uh, the word the word I'm looking for. But essentially, like you're not, you can feel that you're not building that freedom that you want to build, and so it becomes like this self fulfilling prophecy of like you're not getting what you need. And so if you're if you're able to build a, if you watch our previous video, which has amazing uh, tips for you, then not failing in uh, in affiliate marketing it has a much higher chance of you not failing in affiliate marketing. But what would you think are some reasons people fail because, or in affiliate marketing, why do they fail? That's, that's, there's, there's a few. And I think like the main stuff for me is like, as you say, like, I feel like we bash high ticket affiliate marketing quite a lot, and we do, like we do. There's no, there's no sort of denying that. But I have been in a high ticket affiliate marketing. I have made high ticket sales. Um, and, I have too. Yeah, and she and they're nice, happen, and it can. Yeah, I'll, when when you see an email saying, "Here's here's a thousand or here's two thousand, thank you so much." You're like, yeah, right. awesome. But 
to me, the problem with affiliate marketers right now and most of the time is it comes down to do you see this as a side hustle or a business? If you see this as a side hustle, you've got a short-term mindset, which means if you don't make it good in three months, you are quitting. Brandon says the seven-month mark. A lot of people drop off at three months. A lot of people drop off at seven months. Like, If you've got a short-term mindset to this, like you are screwed. Like, I didn't make money for years. Like Not decent money, years, year, like years in affiliate marketing. And I'd have the questions from the missus, like, why are you still doing this? I was like, because it works. She's like, yeah, but it's not working for you. I was like, well, I'll work on me then. I was like, I'm the, I'm the common denominator. Like, it works for other people, so it'll work, for, it'll work for me. I just need to clearly work on me. So, but that was a mindset thing. was like, I'm not giving up. Like, and you you can't afford to give up. Like, it's so much easier being, like, being trained from four years old to 20 years old, like, into a system, into a routine that you can just go and get a job. But yeah, that's easy. Everybody can do that. And everyone can go get a job. But people don't like their job. People don't feel their restriction. But it's that mentality that's been drummed into you since you were so young, that conditioning, that when you come and start a business, like, you want money fast because nine times out of 10, you type in how to make money online when you're broke. <laughs> so naturally you're, you're chasing money rather than attracting money. So yeah. when you're chasing that money and you're like, oh. so when that high ticket sale doesn't come in straight away or within that first couple of months, you're like, oh God, it doesn't work. When actually it does, but you've just got to be a lot more patient. Um, and that's why micro wins and celebrating the micro successes as an affiliate marketer is so crucial because sometimes I got a, a I got a commission yesterday from Right Sonic and it's four dollars. I was like, I've not mm. promoted Right Sonic in six months. I still think it's a very good software. I've just not created a video on it in in so long. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I've just made four dollars for doing nothing. I got one last week or the week before, a hundred dollars. I was like, I was like, get in. Um, but like those micro successes throughout throughout your time period, I hit fifty thousand views on YouTube the other day. So I celebrated. I was like, hey, I was like, my YouTube channel isn't massive. I was like, but I've just hit fifty thousand views. And ironically, That's I got cool. an email today, sixty thousand. I was like, absolutely fantastic. Those micro wins throughout the whole time really makes it makes it easy to to carry on going because you know you're doing something right. Where a lot of affiliate marketers, if they unless they get that 1k, 2k sale, they don't class anything else, any other work as success. Yeah. And it absolutely kills them off because that's like a post that generates 30 comments or 20 likes or generates you 10 leads. That's a success. Like you've made one piece of content that's generated you 20 leads. You might not have closed them all. But you have started to master that process. You start putting all those micro wins together. You can then look at your success, your growth, knowing that you're stepping in the right direction. Yeah, I think everything, I'm going to go off on that whole thing because I think that's amazing. Um, I think that a lot of people, I'll, I'll give you an example. Yesterday post that I made 50, what, 58 cents or 78 cents, um, which is very, it's like 50 it's like, what do you guys have in cents? You guys have like pence? Pence, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like 50 pence. Uh, very small amount uh, because of I blog on the, on, the, on the medium and I'm a partner and I've realized that uh, if I just actually turn my content from uh, not metered to metered, I can make money from it. And that was just a easy tip. But um I post that one because it was 50 cents and I was like, you know, zero dollars or 50 cents is better than zero dollars. So it just went to show you that, you know, even those micro wins and what's great is people love that to see that content. People don't always care to see the thousand dollars, the $2,000, the $5,000. They want to see like the little wins too, like the micro wins. And so you can use that as content. And I think that just like you said, a lot of people, if you, if you add up all these micro wins and you can see where you're, you're going, um, then you, and I, I like to call them, and I think this is what they're called, they are called this, is lag indicators versus lead indicators. 
And mm -hmm. you, a lot of these people that you were talking about with high ticket and they don't celebrate their, they only celebrate their 1000 or their 2000 or their 5,000 or their $10,000 wins. Those are lag indicators. They're the, they're the things that show up after all the work is done. And if you can't put together what you need in your lead indicators to get what is going to come up to, to show up in your lag indicators, what I mean by that is you take that $1 micro win, the 50 cent micro win, you post it on Facebook. And then you are like, okay, great. Like I got... 10 comments to say, nice job. How do you do median or how do you make money on median? Or like, do you have like, how did you uh, get people to go to your median site? I can message all those people and be like, blah, 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 blah. And then those conversations, those are leads or prospects, those conversations, three people might be serious. And then I can turn those into like a high ticket sale. And then I would obviously then make my sale, which would a thousand dollars which would be then my lag indicator. And I needed to make that one post to get 10 leads, to get three interested parties, to get one person to close. And if I can constantly repeat that, then I have a system that is repeatable. And then I can use that to make money and uh, continue my success. And all those micro wins of making a post on Facebook or making a post on YouTube or a video, which gets this much traction, that gets this much um, attention, and this gets this much interest in closing and or conversions, then I can have a repeatable system to make money. And then I don't have to celebrate my, my $1,000 or $2,000. I know what it needs to take every single day to make that $1,000 happen. And that's what should motivate you is the journey of, of what you're going through versus the actual win. Because when you hit there, that that win is like for a second and then the loop starts all over so being be in love with the journey uh, and i think that's actually as you say like that exciting hey you've just made one thousand dollars oh yeah fantastic and you literally you forget about it straight away it's like right okay now i need to my next one it's like, well, <laughs> yeah, that work. enjoy the journey as you say like that's why recurring is really good because you can build on those foundations and yeah. it's like hey i made say a thousand dollars recurring income this month now I'm going to make roughly the same already next month, but I can go and build on that. You can enjoy the journey more because you're not you're not in a constant chase state of panic and chasing, which right. again is negative mindset scenarios that affiliate marketers and any business owner shouldn't really have. Like you can't attract money and you can't be the best version of yourself that either your students need or your leads or your prospects need if you're in a constant state of negativity and chasing. So that we, we've spoken about mindset a hell of a lot in this episode. And I think that is one of the core foundations. Like you need to be looking at the whole process, the journey and, and having those wins, having those KPIs and all of these things that it's like, yeah, okay. I didn't make a, a sale in two, two weeks. Okay. Yeah. But what did it do? Well, I grown this, or I got this many leads or I've added this many emails to the list. It all builds up. It's in that compound and effect that eventually it will just fall off the mountain and snowball down to where you are just cashing out left, right, and center. Yes, I was drinking a uh, drink of water and I totally agree. You will be uh, cashing out left, right, and center because that's the power of recurring income. I mean, that's why I and why we always say buy, build recurring and then buy passive is because you're literally speeding up the process of turning your money from active income to passive income. And you can watch our other podcasts about that, um, about the myths, uh, myths of passive income. So you definitely want to check that podcast out. But um, I mean, that's the best I find to be the best way to keep the motivation going is you're able to see your progress every single month with recurring income. But I think that, I mean, that's, sums it up. Uh, I think that we've pretty much told you how to keep motivated, how to keep pushing forward. Um, and having recurring income is it's funny, and I'll end it with this. There gets to a point where you get so much recurring income that it becomes a high ticket, whatever that number is for you. For me, it's uh, $100,000 in one day, uh, sale every single day, where essentially like 
you have so much built up that every single day is just coming in into your bank account, uh, 10,000, a hundred thousand, 5,000, whatever, 500, $200, a hundred dollars, whatever that number is to you. Once you get to enough, uh, enough recurring income that it just keeps coming in. And as you build it each, each uh, month, it's, it gets larger and larger and snowballs, uh, much easier. And then you take that money and, and you buy passive income. So. That's it. Absolutely perfect way to end, guys. So if you've enjoyed the episode, please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know that you enjoy this content so we can create it for you. And we will see you on the next episode. Peace.